tuned for that great new reality game show. How much will you humiliate yourself on network television to win a <sighs> dollar and a half? I can't watch this show. I don't have any peanuts. <laughs> there. Peanuts. Huh? I can't watch this show. I don't have a Swiss cheese sandwich on pumpernickel toast. <laughs> there. Now I have my peanuts and my Swiss cheese sandwich on pumpernickel toast. Except that I don't have my peanuts. <laughs> no peanut breath. What? No peanut breath. <laughs> no peanut breath. But he did have a salami sandwich for lunch with a side of slaw. And speaking of sandwiches, I'm gonna eat mine. And now my sandwich is missing. Odie? Swiss cheese sandwich, bowl of peanuts, fine. But he can be annoying at times, but a nose like that is handy to have around. <gasps> oh, this is really good. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is delicious. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> All right, come back. We're sorry, Garfield. We just need to store up body fat so we can hibernate. Hibernate? Yeah, we're the kind of squirrels who hibernate. We sleep most of the winter. Sleep most of the winter? Oh, I like the sound of that. In order to do that, we have to eat an awful lot of food right now. Eating an awful lot of food right now? Oh, that's even better. You guys enjoy my sandwich and peanuts. I have some thinking to do. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Acorns are my favorite. Hmm, hibernation. Why didn't I ever think of that before? An activity that combines my two favorite things in the world, eating and sleeping. Huh? <gasps> you want to go here for dinner? Albert's all you can eat? <laughs> now you remember what happened last time we went there. What makes you think they'll let you in again? <gasps> Oh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you know it might work. This is your first day with us, Chester. Do you know what your most important job is? Yes, Mr. Albert. To keep the buffet stock so our customers can eat as much food as they want. No! Your most important job is to keep this cat out! My family has operated this business for 47 years. It has never lost money, except for one Tuesday three years ago. He came in, and I almost had to declare bankruptcy. One cat did that? Not a cat. A stomach with fur. A vacuum cleaner with whiskers. Do come in, folks. Help yourself to our scrumptious buffet, and remember, you can eat all you can oh, eat. Oh, thank you, sir. <clears throat> I mean, um, we've never been here before. So keep an eye out for him, at all costs. I will, Mr. Albert, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ruined. I'm ruined. I'll have to close down, convert the business into a one-hour shoe repair shop. 
<laughs> you people don't want to come in. All I have left is one tiny little black olive. <laughs> Good olive. Oh, me, oh, oh, my, oh. <laughs> All right, time to start my hibernation. I'll set the alarm for March. Yeah, maybe I'll sleep in, get up sometime around, oh, let's say half past April. Snooze. This hibernation thing is a great idea, but I hope I didn't miss springtime. Let's see, how long did I sleep? Nine minutes? <sighs> Maybe I need to store up more body fat for the winter. <laughs> All right. Four months. I'm gonna sleep for four months. But wait, if I sleep that long, I'll miss all my favorite shows. No, I'll catch them in reruns. Hibernation time! <sighs> hey, Garfield! <laughs> I just wanted to tell you I'm going out to dinner with Liz. I don't want any trouble here while I'm gone. If there is, you're in big trouble. How could I cause any trouble? I'm gonna be asleep for the next four months. I love you. Sleep. No, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. Can't you see I'm hibernating? Come back, say, after uh, St. Patrick's Day. If I'm gonna sleep for four months, I'm gonna need some quiet. I'll try plugging my ears. And I'll put up this warning sign. <sighs> that got me so upset, I'll probably take forever to fall asleep. until March. Wake me up and you'll be in big trouble. Wow. This goes double for you, Nermal. Awesome. I have the house to myself.
Woody, you're going to be so sorry for waking me up. Gotta get him out of here before John comes home, or you know how mad he'll be. Yeah, about that mad. Uh oh. Okay, everybody out. Party's over. Garfield, I warned you. But I didn't. I mean, Nermal did it. I didn't. What? Are you going to try and make me believe you slept through all of this? Okay, everybody, time to start hibernating for the winter. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Garfield, are you planning to hibernate until spring, too? Might as well. It's not like John's going to feed me before then. <sighs> now if I can just fall asleep. I love these days when the flowers are in bloom and the leaves and the trees are green. And amazingly, they aren't even plastic. This is the kind of day when the world should be framed and hung in an art gallery. The kind of day when nothing can budge me from the peace and serenity of my bed of flowers. <laughs> Garfield, lunch is ready. The kind of day when the flowers can wait because lunch is ready. <laughs> Hey, Odie. What's new? Tell me later. I want to eat now. Huh? Here you go, guys. I made you. <laughs> Quick, slow motion. <laughs> Thank you, Odie. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. I've been sneezing all the time lately. <laughs> Refill, please. <laughs> no, it isn't all the time. It's just when I'm around you. What? Could I be allergic to cats? No, Mr. Arbuckle. The test shows you're definitely not allergic to cat hair. Uh, but I keep sneezing every time Garfield is around. And I'm not sneezing now. Are you sure, Doc? Well, according to this, you're only allergic to a few things. Antelope, a goldenrod, and grilled asparagus. No cat hair. So why do I sneeze around Garfield? There is one possibility. On TV tonight, there's a show about it. I think you should watch. And now the human animal specialist. Sometimes sneezing is not caused by a cold or allergy. Sometimes it's caused by suppressed anger. Hmm? Anger? But I'm not angry at Garfield. Well, not all the time. You see, suppressed anger is anger you hide. Sometimes you even hide it from yourself. And you don't know what's inside of you. But it has to come out somehow. And sometimes it comes out as a sneeze. Oh, that's ridiculous. Uh, if this is the case, you either have to deal with the anger or get rid of whatever's making you angry. Let's go have dinner. I made a huge roast turkey with all the trimmings. <laughs> that nutty doctor, I am not mad at Garfield, and that is not making me sneeze. Garfield! 
You ate the entire turkey dinner? <coughs> you ate all the mashed potatoes and stuffing and corn pudding and rolls? <coughs> Do you have any shame? <coughs> Did you leave anything for us? <coughs> Here, make a wish. Me, I'm wishing for another turkey. <coughs> 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 I get my wish. I can't be allergic to Garfield. There's got to be a sneezing cure of some kind. Uh -huh. I'm researching something online, Odie. Remember, everything you read on the internet is absolutely true. Here's a site that says wearing garlic can cure sneezing. Oh, I need garlic. Uh -huh. A dozen bulbs of garlic. That'll stop my sneezing. Liz won't come near me for a month, but it'll stop my sneezing. <laughs> oh, I've got to try something else. Someone online said a hot bath can cure sneezing. And it seems to be working. It's funny, I came in to run the water and I found the tub was already full. So I jumped in. Hey, what are you doing in my crab gumbo? <gasps> Uh, needs more salt and less John. Heat lamp. That will stop sneezing. <laughs> oh, this should do it. Hold still. I'm adding the melted butter. Oh. That's it. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to see that doctor on TV. As I said on my show, Mr. Arbuckle, sneezing can be caused by anger. This cat of yours, tell me everything he does. Well, he sleeps. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh... He eats. Uh, yes, what else? That's it. That's it? Well, once in a while, he torments our puppy, Odie, or the mailman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How exactly does he torment this puppy? <laughs> How doesn't he? Uh, last week, for instance, he got a box of gelatin mix. Then he poured it into Odie's water dish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. Now, were you mad at your cat for doing this? Mad? Well, maybe a little mad, but no. I don't get mad at Garfield. Mm hmm. Well, you said he did something to your mailman. Every day, practically. It's like Garfield waits for him. The other day, he took our vacuum cleaner. <laughs> now, did that make you mad at your cat, Arbuckle? Be honest. Yes, I... No, I don't let those things bother me. I almost did, though. It was about three weeks ago. I know. You're thinking the ice cream truck will be along any minute and you want some. The answer is no. N-O, no. I don't feel like walking out to the curb. Hmm. <laughs> Boy, the ice cream truck sounds like it's getting real close. Could I have some money for a quart of lasagna ripple? Well, Mr. Arbuckle, it's obvious what's making you sneeze. You can't admit that you're mad at your cat. I am mad at my cat. I didn't want to say those words, but you're right, Doctor. I'm mad at my cat. 
I'm very mad at my cat. Say the words, Arbuckle. I'm mad at my cat. You must confess before the entire world. I'm mad at my cat. Louder, Arbuckle. I'm mad at my cat. Who's doing all that yelling? Oh, some guy who's mad at his cat. Is he really mad at his cat? He sounds really mad at his cat. I'm mad at my cat! Oh, it must be that Arbuckle guy. Oh, the one with the cat that eats all the lasagna. <laughs> I did it, Doctor. I confronted my anger. I admitted I was mad at my cat. Excellent, my boy. Now I just have to do one more thing, and you'll be rid of your sneezing problem forever. <sighs> Anything. What is it? Well, now, of course, you get rid of your cat. Of course, I'll get rid of my cat, and then I won't be sneezing and... Get rid of my cat? Get rid of Garfield? Of course. He makes you sneeze, and as you admit, you are mad at him. But, 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 but I, I, I couldn't get rid of Garfield. That would be like getting rid of my right arm. Think it over, Arbuckle. If you don't have the courage to get rid of your cat, do you know what people will say to you? Yeah, they're going to say Gazuntite a lot. Thank you, Doctor. What an odd young man. I can't understand why he won't cure his problem. Patience gone? Good. It's our wedding anniversary, you know. And you have to drive me to my mother's house. <clears throat> yes, dear. <sighs> Jan's home. Hoodie, I've decided I've given Jan a pretty bad time lately. You? Yeah. I have an attack of conscience at least once a year. I'm going to give him a gift to apologize. Garfield, I found out my sneezing was caused because I was angry at you. Well, I've decided something. No matter what you do, I'll never, ever be mad at you again. No matter what I do? Wow. OK. <laughs> Here's something for you. Oh, you picked me some flowers. That's nice, Garfield. And you have so many different kinds. You have daisies and daffodils and goldenrod and <laughs> Goldenrod? Yeah, goldenrod. It's been blooming outside lately. <laughs> and I just love to sleep in it and roll around in it. You've been rolling around in goldenrod? A flower I'm allergic to? That's what's been making me sneeze? And I went through all those cures and went to that doctor and... And all that because of that? I'm mad at you, Garfield! No matter what you do, I'll never be mad at you again. Gee, that didn't last long. I'm mad at my cat! It's... I'm oh, mad at my poor cat! poor man. It sounds like he's got a cold. Or maybe it's an allergy I'm to goldenrod. I'm mad at my cat! It's...
Absolutely. <laughs> Mrs. Wilson! Hello, John. And Mr. Wilson! Uh, how are you today, sir? Just peachy. Which way to the eggnog? Oh. What a beautiful treat, John! Uh, thanks. Um, Mom, Dad, Doc Boy, I'd like you to meet Liz's parents, uh, Robert and Betty. Hi. Well, how do you do? I'm fine, thank you. It's so nice to meet you. Liz has told us so much about you. Oh, so, uh, everyone have some hot cider and let's admire the tree for a while, okay? I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, I'm with that one. When do we eat? <laughs> Robert! 
Oh, soon. Uh, but first, let's get to know one another. Oh, Mrs. Wilson, did you know Doc Boy slept with his blankie until he was 14? <laughs> Don't call me Doc Boy. And it was 13. <laughs> what do you think, Early? Interesting, but it needs something. A star. We need a star at the top. <laughs> Eureka! Nice going, Odie. Let's get this thing to the top of the heap. <laughs> I think everything's ready to go now. Are you sure this is going to work? Absolutely not. Are you with me, people? Yes! Very nice, everyone. Okay, uh, let's sing another song. Oh. Do we have to? We've been singing for a solid hour. Uh, John, can I give you a hand with dinner? No, everything's ready, Mom. I was just stalling until Garfield and Odie show up. Oh, no. It's not like Garfield to miss a meal. Wondered why I was so peaceful around here. I'm sure they're fine. Those rascals are probably up to something. I'm sure you're right. Okay, let's go into dinner. Lovely dinner, John. I'm so proud of you. If it tastes half as good as it looks, we're in for a treat. What was that? Huh? Uh, what was what? That noise came from the living room. I didn't hear any... What the... <laughs> I don't believe it! What's going on here? Oh, no! Shine higher! Wow. Well, folks, I guess our Christmas is over a little early. I'm sorry. Garfield. It was sweet of you to try. Hello? Oh, it works! Hey, it worked. See, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Garfield! Odie! You rascals! What are you doing here? This is truly a Christmas miracle. It must be for a reason. As a matter of fact, it is. Who are your friends, Garfield? <gasps> Petey! What? Oh, boy. I had a canary named Petey. You remind me so much of him. I'm going to take you home and name you Petey, too. Look, lady, I don't know what your problem is, but, uh, is that food? Oh, have some macadamia nuts. For macadamia nuts, you can call me Cynthia. And Garfield, here I was so angry with you for letting Petey out the window, and now you've given me Petey, too. Ooh. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Can I have some more nuts? And just who are you? Yeah. Don't you have a home? <sighs> well, they need a home, Dad. A farm can always use more mousers. We can take the kittens. I love kittens. You're coming home with us. I don't think so, lady. We're not going anywhere without Raz. We're a family, a team, a set that can't be broken up. Time out. Come here, ladies. Listen to me. I promised your mother that I'd find a home for you, and that promise is gonna be kept tonight. But your family. Yeah, this is our home. This is a junkyard. I am an old dog. I'm not gonna be around for you a whole lot longer. On the farm, you'll have friends and real family. And one day, you'll have kittens of your own to care for. I can't offer you that here. Oh, but we love you, Rags. We're going to miss you. Yeah, we're gonna miss you. I love you. I love you, too. Now make your mother proud. You the sweetest thing. Buddy, what was the name of that big dumb dog we had? Uh, are you talking about Junior? Yeah, Junior. Whatever happened to him? I died ten years ago, Robert. That's right. Isn't his bed still in the corner of the garage? Mm-hmm. Right where you insisted on leaving it. Seems like a shame to let that bed collect dust. Maybe we could use another big dumb dog. Oh, that's a lovely idea, Robert. Come here, boy. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. When we get home, first thing I'm giving you is a bath. <laughs> We have to do something. We can't possibly take care of all those animals, Liz. I didn't take one. Vito, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? What's the whole of town doing here? We all came to see the big tree. Hey, you want a job, doggy? You come to Vito's pizzeria with me, yeah? I put you to work guarding my pizzas from a certain cat that I know. Hey, I resemble that remark. All the pepperoni you can eat! Who do you say, doggy? Huh? Hey, everyone! Take a pet home with you! Come on! We have a pet parade! Ho, 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 whoa! Garfield, sometimes you amaze me. Oh, you are the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> are we? You know... The spirit of Christmas is hungry. The food's getting cold, everyone! Come on, let's eat! Now that's a